Hi guys, so in this video, I want to introduce you guys to the Sonoff basic Wi-Fi smart switch. Um, it's a Wi-Fi switch that can be controlled via your phone, your Android phone, or I think it be, I believe it's iPhone as well. And um, also it supports Google Home Mini. So um, if you guys don't know, I have some Google Home Mini videos out where I teach how to set up Google Home Mini and um, show some of the features and so forth. But this um, is part of the, this is the device that makes your home a smart home and it will be used with the Google Home Mini. So this is basically just the unboxing, just to introduce the device. Um, it comes in a very nice, a very small um, box. You can actually see the size. This is the smallest screwdriver and this is the size of the screwdriver, the thinnest and smallest screwdriver compared to the box. So it's very, very small. It's about, this, about the height or the length of maybe my finger, if you look at it there. And so it's 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 fairly small, and um, <clears throat> off the top um, they actually say that it's not really sewn off, but rather S on off, which kind of makes sense because it's probably like S for switch on off. But anyways, let's let's continue on. So the package I really was surprised and really really happy to see it um, packaged so well. I thought that you know because it's probably made in China and it's so cheap. I think you could get these for less than ten US. I think even. If you're lucky, you can get it for less than five US per device. Um, but it came in such a very nice box, so so nice I didn't even want to open it. But um, we see first of all, as I said, that it it supports, um, it works with Nest, it works with uh, Amazon Alexa, and it works with Google Assistant. And what is really really nice is when we open the box, and I'll try to explain a little bit more about what's inside. On the other side of the box, it also says that. Um, you can find the eWe link, which seems to be the application on um, the App Store for Apple and Google Play Store for Google. And what is nice as well is there are some icons telling you what this device can do. So, for example, it's remote control. So, obviously, we could remote control this. And um, it has time schedules. Yeah, you can share it. You can share it so that other people could control it. I, I wouldn't really want to share it, but. Um, you can do that, I mean, for privacy purposes. And Smart Scene, um, where basically I believe you can set this thing up. So for example, if it's in your, um, if, it's in, if it's in your living room and it's, with, it's connected to other, uh, other devices, you could say, well, like living room lights on and all will come on at the same time, that kind of thing. Um, at the back, it has, um, it says it supports eight enabled timers, remote control to the appliance and a do-it-yourself um, for your favorite scenes. And of course, it's, it's um, provided by a company called IT Intelligence Systems Co. Limited. And I have to tell you, it's revolutionary because of the price and because of what it does. Firstly, because of the price. Long ago, when I had to automate before, I would have to spend a lot um, of money on those power line versions to this. This is wireless. This actually has like a Wi-Fi adapter that connects to your wireless router. So it's really, really cool. Of course, it says it's designed and made in China. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and it does have some specifications, which we probably should go through as well, because it's important to understand that this Sonoff, while it might be designed for um, most applications, it is not designed for all applications, and I'll say I'll tell you why. So this is the Sonoff Basic. There are different types and versions of the of this of the Sonoff brand. There is um, ones that come with a single control, one with double controls. Um, so you can support two ap appliances at the same time. This one just does one appliance at the same time. It shows us that um, there is the Wi-Fi standard of 802.11. B, G, and N. So it doesn't support A, C, per se, but it should be backward compatible as far as I can tell. Um, it requires a power supply of 90 to 250 volts, which means it's going to be standard. You can use this on current that is 110 or 220. Um, and it supports a maximum current load of 10 amps. There are additional um, devices uh, by Sonoff to, to increase that ampage to 16 amps. But if, for my purposes, um, for single lights and so forth, this should be totally fine for that. And it also has a max power, a resistive load, which means the end, the appliance that you're going to power must be using less than 220 watts. 
sorry, not 220 watts, 2,200 watts, which is which is really, really high. Our lights in the house doesn't use anything near that sort of wattage. I think our lights, our double fluorescent lights are about 60 watts, maybe by two, which is 120, so 120 watts. Um, so we're not gonna use this for anything that will cause, should cause any issues. So that's just the introduction very quickly. I wanna get into opening the box so that you can see what's actually um, in the box. And, it, and it's really, really simple. So let's open the box. And what appears first of all is some screws and this will make sense in a few minutes so let's just go ahead and we just slide off this one off and what else is in the box is there's this manual and the manual seems to be in what i believe is chinese the chinese language as well as an english version the english version was fairly decent actually um actually really really good there was they they seem to revise it and and so it seems that it works very well uh, what was surprising about this is it doesn't advertise on the box that it has an rf signal which can also be controlled but apparently according to the blue writing i noticed they said that the sonoff rf supports controlled by 433 megahertz rf remote controller this function allows you to turn off the lights with no Wi-Fi needed. So I think I should remember, I'll try to remember to get um, a few of those uh, controls so that we could always just turn it off, uh, turn, switch them on and turn them off, even if Wi-Fi is down for some reason or the other. Um, I don't know how we would live without Wi-Fi, but you know, that's just so it is. Okay, so you're seeing the product here. Um, it might have been wrong side for a few seconds. This is what the Sonoff looks like. It's just a really nice, small packaged um, device. And what you see, first of all, on this thing is um, you see input and output. And that's very important because our input is where the power is going to be used to power on this device while output is the actual lamp or other device that you that you want to power on so you have to remember to be careful make sure you do this correctly input for in out for out to the actual appliance that you will be using if you wire this thing wrongly there's a chance that you could probably cause um, the device to blow to be damaged or you may cause an electrical fire because we're not messing with uh, we, are, we are messing with serious current here this is I mean 110 volts this is current that could literally damage you if you do the wrong thing so I wouldn't suggest that kids start this as a project I think this is more for someone who <laughs> has a little bit of a background in e uh, e electricity or respects electricity enough to perhaps switch off the breakers before doing it you, you definitely don't want to wire anything with your breakers on in case something goes wrong okay so you might be wondering well how do you wire this device so um that is where i have to show you guys these clips so these clips actually before i do that there is actually on the the the, the, the device the diagram itself it also shows you which one is neutral and line um for those of you most of most of house wiring usually has three lines there's the neutral line that uh, the neutral uh, wire the line which is the actual live wire l and there's also uh, the ground wire and this doesn't really support the ground wire there's only two that you need to put in which is the neutral and the line or sorry the l which is live and um, pretty much that powers it on so there's these little uh, clips that come out and when you pull out those clips you'll notice that there are connector um, I don't know exactly what you would describe that as but I, I think it's just like a, it's just a connector where you unscrew the top and then you push your wire in and then you screw it back down now one of the things I want to mention here is that um, this is not the first time I'm actually opening one so um, I'd like to kind of explain something beforehand you need to make sure that when you wire this thing in that obviously one wire doesn't touch the other wire and uh, it fits very snug so I noticed that um, 2.5 gauge wire was the best or the thickest wire that this could handle um, without having to cut you know without having to cut the, the leads a little bit to get them to fit so 2.5 did fit uh, 
with a little bit of pushing um, fit perfectly after pushing it in hard and, and it worked and uh, one of the other things is that this doesn't really this locking mechanism isn't very strong this part the green part and so that's why they made this which has the you know this sort of jagged teeth that grips on so when you when after you put in your wires and you secure it properly from there you then put this piece back on and in another video I'll show this in more detail so you, you put this piece back on and this piece would literally grip the wire and that's what you need because this without this piece it would slip out it would and it would cause electrical fire or some sort of problem so you need to make sure to make this as, as secure as possible by putting this back on and that's where these screws come in so basically you just screw them back in once you put the wires in and you're good to go so that guys is really the introduction to what the Sonoff switch is basically as well um, when you get everything up and running um, you would be able to download the app which is of course the ewe link app that they that they recommend and you'd be able to follow the instructions to set that up so in another video i'll probably show you guys how to do it but i just wanted to introduce you guys to it and i'll show you a demo as well of it when it's also working so guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel please like this video there's some tips as i said so forth that i've learned and um in my next video i hope to be able to show you guys how to wire one of these up so that uh, you could have some fun controlling it with your with your phone and also with your google home all right guys see you later bye bye